Fire in a hole! Hey, let's make some pork loin ribs, or what's known as country ribs, with a sweet molasses glaze on them. Let's get that going right now. Please stay tuned. I asked nicely. So what we got here are some uh, known as pork loin ribs or country ribs. And you can see they're a lot meatier than a regular spare rib. And we're just going to sprinkle some of my rub on there. A light, light sprinkle of rub. Get it all over them. Then we're going to stick them on the grill. Then I'm going to put together this sweet molasses basting sauce to put on them as they cook. And uh, we're just going to rub them down a little bit with some rub. Get that rub on there. I'll put the uh, uh, ingredients for the rub in my uh, description. It's just my own special rub that I make. Uh, it's sweet your, slap your mama and some uh, garlic and onion powder. No great shakes. Just enough to, just to season up the meat a little bit. And we're going to get that on the grill. And then I'm going to get my pot and make some uh, sweet molasses basting sauce. So please, stay tuned. I asked you nicely. So this is a pretty basic sauce. It starts out with some apple cider vinegar. About a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'll put the, uh, the uh, measurements in the description. And here's the main ingredient, grandma's molasses. A whole cup of grandma's molasses. That's about all the molasses I got left. It's about a cup. Have to get another jar of that. And then we got some uh, brown mustard. I'm going to about a, put about a half a cup of brown mustard in there. Mix that all up. Give it a mix. And we're going to glaze our ribs with this. Oh, we're splashing it everywhere. Better take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, let's get that mixed up a little bit. Then we're going to put that on the fire and let it simmer. First, we're going to hit it with a little bit of Slap Your Mama. About, about a tablespoon of Slap Your Mama, I guess. Maybe less. Maybe a teaspoon of Slap Your Mama. Not a whole lot. This isn't a spicy hot sauce. Slap Your Mama is just uh, salt and pepper, garlic, and uh, cayenne pepper. So we want it basically that for the uh, salt and pepper aspect of it, not so much for the heat. And we're going to stir that up. We're going to get that on the heat and let that simmer for a while. And then we're going to paint our ribs with it as they cook. And they're only going to take about two hours max to cook because they're mostly meat. They're not like spare ribs or uh, baby back ribs. We're going to mix that up and get that on the fire and cook that up. And we'll bring you right back, show you what that looks like. So please, I'm asking you nicely. Stay tuned. Okay, our ribs have been on there a while about an hour and we're gonna baste them with this uh, molasses sauce molasses and uh, mustard and uh, apple cider vinegar and some slap your mama and we're just gonna run that on there like that and then we'll flip them over and uh, baste the other side and we'll just keep doing that for the next couple of hours until the ribs get cooked and that looks good already. Looks good enough to eat already. Look at that. How's that look? Can you see that? Oh man, if you could smell that, you'd be in heaven, because I know I am. Okay, let's uh, flip those over and let them cook some more, and then I'll baste them again. We got a drink of beer, and guess what we got today? We got Roll's favorite beer. It's not his favorite, but one of them. Anyway, you'll see when we come back. So please, I'm asking you nicely, please stay tuned. So there's the Frosty Root Boy mug, and there's Roll's favorite brand of beer. It's not his favorite beer. His favorite beer is Leffy Royale. They didn't have any of that, but they had this Leffy Blonde, which uh, it's an Abbey Ale, and it's uh, made in Belgium, and it's got a low ABV, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. It says, Savor the Mystery of the Ages. Uh, Award-winning Leffy Blonde is a full-bodied, full -bodied, deep golden ale that is surprisingly stable and delicate. Okay, I'll let you know if it's stable and delicate. 
I'll let you know in a minute. Hang on. I'll let you know if it's stable and delicate. Yeah, get some of that in a Root Boy mug. See how stable and delicate it is. Yeah, look at that stuff. It looks good, actually. It's a very light colored, almost yellow, and it's an Abbey Ale. It's made by monks. Anno 1240. They've been making this since the year 1240. You believe that? It's crazy, isn't it? Belgium Ale. It's got quite a head on it. Very yellow color. I think the best thing for us to do is quaff the froth off of that right now. Hang on. Let's take a sniff of that. It's uh, almost sort of like an IPA, but not quite. It's got a nice aroma. Let's take a taste. It's very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, that goes up. That's right up there with some of my favorites. I don't usually... Uh, I don't usually mess with imported beer because I think there's too many great American beers to be had. Craft beers, excellent beers all over America. So I don't really go for uh, uh, imported beer, but this one is excellent. Very good. It's not Leffy Royale, which is Roll's favorite, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. Leffy Blonde. I can highly recommend it if you're into imported beer. Okay, so let's take a look at our ribs, see how they're coming along. And I asked you nicely, please stay tuned. Well, I'm going to say that those ribs are looking spectacular. And that uh, glazing sauce that we got there, that molasses glazing sauce, looks up and smells amazing. It's really, really looking good. So uh, it's got to cook a little while. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to say, uh, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go visit Roll, Pitmaster X. He is a... Uh, I don't know how to describe Roll. He makes everything and everything on the grill. Uh, he never drinks a beer where you can see him. And he's just an amazing guy. Pitmaster X. I'll put a link. The link will be right about there to his. And I'll put you a link here if you want to subscribe to me. And you can see this kind of crap every week. Because I do this every week. I'm going to put a little bit more glaze on this one. It's looking a little dry. How's that one look? Oh, man. That smells great. How's that look? Looking sweet, huh? Okay. See you next week. Have a good week. And uh, don't forget to check out Pitmaster X. And don't forget to subscribe to me, The Root Boy. We'll check y'all later. Bye.